Kala Ganeans, once again, good evening. Today is the sixth time I'm coming into your homes since we began our collective effort to combat the coronavirus pandemic and to implement measures aimed at containing and defeating it. I have, first of all, to tell you how proud and privileged I am to be your president, not just to fight for you, but also to fight with you and to help shepherd our country out of this crisis. I said in my last address, the government's policy in this entire drama will be largely driven by science. That is tracing, testing, and treatment. We now see that the decision to close down our borders has been justified. 105 of the confirmed cases came from those who were mandatorily quarantined and tested on their arrival in our country on 21st and 22nd March. 192 of the cases came from travelers who entered the country before the closure and their contacts. 79% of the 378 confirmed cases are thus imported. Clearly, until we have the situation fully under control, we cannot at this time open our borders. They will have to remain shut until further notice. Further, the partial lockdown of Accra and Kumasi has facilitated a more aggressive program of enhanced contact tracing with a total of 450 teams. 37,405 samples have been taken, of which 31,000 933 are in Accra, and 5,472 are in Kumasi. As of Wednesday, yesterday, 8th April, a total of 14,611 contacts of the samples collected have been tested for the virus in Accra and Kumasi. For Accra, 11,308 contacts were tested and 52, i.e. 0.46% of them, were found to be positive. In Kumasi, 3,303 contacts have been tested, and 25, i.e. 0.76%, have been found to be positive. In total, 77 positive cases were recorded in Accra and Kumasi, representing 0.53% of the 14,611 tested. Whilst the results are encouraging, and suggesting a limited number of positives and community spread, we expect to be able to test some 10,000 additional samples in the coming week to give us a clearer picture to enable us to take a decision on the way forward. It appears that our common efforts have been modestly successful in containing the virus and minimizing the spread. Undoubtedly, the decisions taken from day one to act quickly and decisively and impose may, what may have seemed like harsh restrictions have now proven to be effective and have saved a lot of lives. However, this fight is not yet over, and we are by no means out of the woods yet. As I said, we now have in total 378 confirmed cases of infections, with six deaths, four recoveries, two in critical condition, and the remaining 370 are mild cases who are in isolation and either being managed at home or at treatment centers. Fellow Ghanaians, I have come to you this evening to ask for your continued patience as we continue to implement and extend the efforts 
that have so far proven to be helpful. It is important that we stay the course and bear with the difficulties that come with it. The final result, hopefully, will be freedom from the virus. So the decision has been taken through the issuance of another executive instrument to extend the restriction on movements in the greater Accra metropolitan area and Kasua and the greater Kumasi metropolitan area and its contiguous districts by one more week, beginning 1 a.m. on Monday the 13th of April, subject to review. As part of measures to mitigate the effects of the pandemic on the social and economic life of the country, I indicated in my last speech the government will absorb water bills for all Ghanaians for the next three months, i.e. April, May, and June. Furthermore, water tankers, publicly and privately owned, are being mobilized to ensure the supply of water to vulnerable communities. We have decided on further measures of mitigation for all Ghanaians for the next three months, i.e. April, May, and June. Government will fully absorb electricity bills for the poorest of the poor, i.e. for all lifeline consumers, that is free electricity for persons who consume zero to 50 kilowatt hours a month for this period. In addition, for all other consumers, residential and commercial, government will absorb 50% of your electricity bill for this period using your March 2020 bill as your benchmark. For example, if your electricity bill was 100 CDs, you will pay only 50 CDs, with government absorbing the remaining 50 CDs. This is being done to support industry, enterprises, and the service sector in these difficult times and to provide some relief to households for lost income. Nevertheless, I urge all Ghanaians to exercise discipline in their use of water and electricity. The food items being distributed in Accra and Kumasi to the vulnerable and needy are being done through NADMO and the Metropolitan Municipal and District Chief Executives with the assistance of the faith-based organizations to whom I'm rendering a special word of gratitude. I appeal to you, let us in the meantime continue to comply with the measures. Let us maintain good hygiene and respect the social distancing protocols, even when you're going out to receive the food. But above all, please stay at home. There have been unfortunate incidents of some persons in some parts of the affected areas where the restrictions are in force, flouting the regulations and continuing with the business as usual at attitude, even to the extent of confronting members of the security services. That should not be countenanced. The law must be upheld, and it will be. I take no delight in announcing these restrictions. However, let us all remember that they have been put in place for our collective good. The fight against coronavirus has served as a humbling reminder of the things that matter, the things that cannot be bought, and the things that all too often go unappreciated as a result of the stress of daily life. I refer to the health of those we love, the freedom to work and to congregate, the luxury of spontaneity, and the simple comfort of a handshake or a hug. These are the blessings of normalcy that we're fighting to restore, blessings that we must hold on to with a deeper sense of appreciation once this pandemic has passed. I express on all our behalves our gratitude for the assistance given us by the governments of the People's Republic of China, the United States of America, the African Union, 
the African Development Bank, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, the European Union, and the Jack Ma Foundation. We appreciate their expression of solidarity. A friend in need is a friend indeed. I thank all those also who have made donations and contributions into the COVID-19 National Trust Fund for their kind gesture. Fellow Ghanaians, today is Maundy Thursday, and tomorrow, a few hours from now, Friday, 10th April, Good Friday, is the start of Easter, which for us Christians commemorates the unique sacrifice that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ made for our salvation on the cross of Calvary. The season is a good opportunity for all of us to reflect on that ultimate sacrifice, and for each one of us also to make a sacrifice for the sake of humanity's survival. We're used to attending Easter conventions, making merry, visiting friends and family, and having a good time. Yes. Like a lot of you, I was also looking forward to visiting Kwaud during this time of the year, which I've been doing for several years. However, I'm urging all of us to do the exact opposite of what we have been used to for many years. Stay at home. I ask you to keep your distance from your parents, grandparents, and extended family, and celebrate this holiday apart. Do not host a big family gathering and sternly refuse to attend one if you are invited. Your relatives will understand you are doing this out of love for them. Please make that sacrifice. Mr. Ramo, Asama Makain, Mundeso, Ebe Boye Nina, Me Mamu Nina Efisiapa. Minkpanyo Fai, Nibi Minke, Nye Yeno. Bawa wa fe mi hanye afi o afi. So on behalf of my beautiful Rebecca, my children, grandchildren, and entire family, and members of government, I wish you all a joyous and happy Easter, even if a restrained one. And let me extend a special Easter goodwill message to our amazing health workers and to the members of our security agencies for their patriotic efforts. May God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. Have a good evening, enjoy the holidays, and I thank you for your attention. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you will be the first to know. God bless you.